divided by five, five point seven nine. Okay, so cal there's a calculator figured okay. out. Write it down. I want to see what who's got the fastest. A Saturday morning at the University of Detroit. Is it working? And the air is electric with energy and gravity and suspense. It's up to your the stuff of science, technology, engineering, your task is and math. Engineers is to design a container. The STEM disciplines from which young minds can branch out and blossom. Clifford Austin is an engineer who teaches in the Detroit area pre-college engineering program, or DAPSEP. It always starts off with them kind of filling you out and not really understanding. But by the second or third week, they start to kind of get into, and you can see their minds spinning, and that's always exciting. Good morning, DAPSEP. Before the five-week DAPSEP course begins, Youth and their parents gather at Cobo Hall for registration. Thousands participate. Jason Lee is executive director of DAPSEP. We provide a community environment so that the students feel comfortable with being smart. And for a lot of our young people, they struggle with that. Being smart is not cool, but in DAPSEP it is. So we're creating a community of young people who want to learn, and that is key. If you need some endorphino. In addition to classes on college campuses, DAPSEP offers enhanced science classes in many Detroit public schools. Did you measure? Denise Hafner teaches at Brenda Scott Middle School. DAPSEP believes in whatever they expect us to teach, they're going to teach us how to teach it. So I have been trained by DAPSEP on how to do science fair how to do engineering lessons, how to do multicultural. Denise is preparing her class for the Metro Detroit Science Fair, in which they'll be competing against students from schools throughout the Tri-County area. 98% of all the fair entries from Detroit students come from DAPSEP classes. Denise has earned a reputation of getting the best from her students and achieving remarkable success at the fair. It's kind of nice to have people talking about you and saying that, how did you do this? How can you do this with those kids? And they don't really know those kids, and they don't know what they can do, but I think I've proven that they can do as well as anybody. But they've got to be given the chance, and they're not always given the chance. I want you to solve this quadratic equation. More than 5,000 youth participate in DAPSEP each year. More than 3,000 attend classes at college campuses and corporate partners. These classes serve kids between 4th and 12th grade. We're taking a young person and we're putting them onto a college campus. Many of them, through our summer programs, reside on a college campus. And when they come back home, they say, Mom, Dad, I can do college. I can be a college student because I've been one in DAPSEP. So that's what you Parental involvement is essential and expected in DAPSEP. DAPSEP encourages parents to be full partners in their kids' education and offers workshops and support systems. What we have done is set the bar high for parents' expectations of their children for success in education. So in order for their children to be successful, our parents realize that they must be engaged in the education process. The Johnson family has seven kids, six of whom have been in DAPSEP. Inspired by the program, the family has set up a technology-related business. All of them now, they want to continue with a business where it involves a lot of math, science, and DAPSEP has been helping them to think as an engineering person. Each team right here. Engineer is fun. I've been in it since preschool all the way up to fifth, which I am in right now. As soon as I get there, I'm happy, I'm enjoying it. In the end, I'm, I'm like, I don't want to go. Enid Williams has two sons in DAPSEP. Darren is in fifth grade. Gabriel in sixth. Each started with DAPSEP in the K-3 through program. 
Each also is working through learning challenges. DAPSEP held my hand, directed me where to go get them tested, and never said, your child needs to drop out of the program. Never said your child is a statistic and less than. They said that he can, and he has. DAPSEP teaches students to work in teams and solve design problems by applying scientific principles through hands-on experimentation. Clifford learned about how exciting engineering can be when he himself was a DAPSEP student. The importance of science and math and lighting that fire at a young age is so important and as long as we invest in our kids, we're bound to reap a lot of great benefits. More than 1,400 students competed in the Metro Detroit Science Fair this year. When the awards were announced, Denise's students were again at the head of the class. We have the top number of gold awards of anybody at the fair. Um, 18 of you made gold or grand, and that's really, really good. So, uh, grand award winner, Natisha Byers. Congratulations, Natisha. Natisha's winning project was about different methods to reinforce concrete. During the project, I had to keep stopping her and saying she had to redo things. And after she won, I said to her, was it all worth it? She goes, yeah, thanks, Miss After. Natisha will attend Cast Tech in the fall and wants to be an engineer one day, working with cutting edge technologies. I would like to improve things that other people built, like like the new iPhone. Denise has taught in Detroit for 36 years and has been part of DAPSEP for the last 16. She'll be retiring okay. at the end now of the school change. year. You take your biggest number and subtract the beginning number and that'll give you how much the plant changed. I hope I'll look back on it and say that I gave it my all, I did everything I could to make it work and that I did make an impact on a good number of kids. And I hope that later on they'll look back on it and say, that was the class that maybe helped me decide what I wanted to do or made me realize that I could be successful.